So this has to be the weirdest CPU cooler that I've ever seen. And I mean, I probably don't even need to say much more because just look at it. The thing is insane. So this is the Thick Q60 from Height, and that is Thick with two Cs. That is actually the real product name that they're running with here. And that will make total sense once you see the radiator and the fans that this thing is packing. More on that in just a moment because they are actually claiming some pretty big performance numbers here. But yeah, is this something that you guys would put in your PC? I mean, most of us have seen the NZXT Kraken series, which have been pretty popular over the last few years. You can upload GIFs and like CPU temps and stuff like that. This pretty much has the exact same functionality, but the screen is just way more insane. I mean, it's over double the size. So at the core of this thing, I mean, it's just a 240 mil all-in-one liquid cooler. You've got your CPU block, your tubing, your pump, your radiator, your fans. But as you can see, that's pretty much where the similarities end with other CPU cooling products. Before we even get to the wacky screen on this thing, the radiator here is absolutely monstrous. Usually on AIOs, you'll see a 27 mil thick radiator, sometimes up to 30 if you're lucky. This is 52 millimeters thick. Generally with thicker radiators, you will get more cooling performance, but they're also harder to push air through. So height actually put bigger fans on this thing as well. Standard fans are 25 millimeters thick, and these are 32. Also something cool that I noticed is these actually have temperature sensors integrated into the fan hub. So in the software, you can actually see the temperature of the air that's being passed through those fans, which I thought was pretty cool. This is also the first CPU cooler that I've seen to use two pumps. Supposedly they work in tandem to produce higher flow at lower noise levels, and they're both sitting inside that massive radiator. Now, if you are planning to front mount this thing, then you are gonna run into some issues. Most likely it's gonna be GPU clearance because you know, this thing is so thick, it's just gonna take up so much of the interior chamber of your mid tower. There aren't many cases that are actually gonna be able to do that. Good luck fitting a 4080 or a 4090 because yeah, that is not gonna happen. Also these fans, you're probably thinking you can shift those to the other side of the radiator bracket, maybe gain an additional 30 mils of clearance or so, except here you actually can't because this is the only side of the radiator where there are the connections for the fans. Now, Hyde actually makes some pretty big performance claims about this thick cooler, saying that it can actually outperform a lot of 360 mil AIOs on the market. So I've tested it against exactly that. On the test bench, I've got the NZXT Kraken 360, and underneath that, I've got the Intel 14900K, which is the hottest desktop CPU at the moment. So the first test here, I'm running the CPU completely unlocked in Blender, basically seeing how high we can push the power and the clock speeds while the CPU is running at a limit of 100 degrees C. Basically here, the more cooling we have, the higher power levels we'll see, and as a result, the higher clock speeds will get and performance. So with the Kraken 360 at 1800 RPM, which is its top speed, we get about 280 watts on the CPU, which is not bad at all after 15 minutes. But then we have the thick Q60, which I ran noise normalized to the Kraken, which turns out both coolers at 1800 RPM, they basically put out the same noise levels, but with both coolers at that speed, the thick Q60 is actually worse. I'll admit I had pretty high hopes for this thing given how huge it is, but turns out three fans is just better than two. There's a whole 100 megahertz difference on the CPU when we look at the clock speeds, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but across 24 cores, that will make a small impact. The thing is though, the thick Q60 can actually spin up to 3000 RPM fan speed, which is insane. That's the fastest fan speed that I've ever seen from an out of the box cooler. At this fan speed, it's like a power tool. It's very, very loud. And of course, pushing this much airflow, it can beat the 360 mil cooler. The CPU package power now tips just over 300 watts with average clock speeds now just under 4.9 gigahertz. I also did some testing with the 14900K locked at 250 watts power to see what kind of temperatures we get there. And I mean, the Q60 is reasonably close to the Kraken 360 here, but again, given the performance claims and how goddamn thick this thing is, I was expecting a little bit more. But maybe it's not that deep. Maybe it's just all about this screen. It's a five inch 1280p IPS screen with decent viewing angles. The pixel density is a little bit lower than what you'll get on the NZXT Krakens, but still looks pretty good in my opinion with most of the stuff that I've tried. It can swivel around, you know, make it face you directly. And overall it has this kind of floating look to it, which is helped with the RGB lighting on the underside. I mean, I've said it many times before, I really appreciate when brands do different stuff. And this is exactly that. When people see this thing for the first time, 
They're like, how do you have a screen floating over your motherboard? You know, like, how is that even possible? Especially when there's no cables in sight. There's no cables around the screen or the CPU block at all. There's just one big plug that goes into the side of the radiator and that's it. So as far as what you can actually do with this thing, I mean, the coolest has to be the custom gifts, right? I mean, especially on this larger, brighter display, it does look more interesting than the other liquid coolers out there. So yeah, for most people buying this, I think it's gonna be for aesthetic reasons, you know, kind of making a themed PC build, putting on your favorite anime character or whatever. In the end, it's just adding a bit of extra flair to your build for people who like that kind of stuff. And of course, you can display your GPU temp or CPU temps, uh, you know, keep track of that stuff if you want, you know, display the current time. There are lots of coolers that can do that stuff if that's what you're mostly interested in. But yeah, the custom animated GIFs, I think that's where this thing is really impressive. I will say though, for a display this big, I think it should be doing a little bit more. Like the animated GIFs look insane, this one here, with the blue lining behind it, making it all match. I think it looks incredible, but like what about game integrations, for example? How cool would it be if I booted up Overwatch or Apex and it showed like my kill count or my accuracy or maybe how long my total game session has been going for? Stuff like that would be so, so cool to see on a big display inside my PC. And to be honest, I think it is very possible to do that. We've seen some RGB lighting products before which have some game integrations. They like flash when you get a kill and stuff like that. So I think this could have some sort of similar integration. I'll also mention the fan curve setup is super weird in their Nexus software. It is node based, which is one of those situations where it's like, if it's not broken, you don't need to fix it. Even for myself, who was used to using nodes in Blender and DaVinci Resolve, I found myself getting confused and actually like double checking how things were linked up. So yeah, really odd and unnecessary choice here. They really need to simplify this. So if you want this thing, it's 300 bucks, which yeah, at that price, it is very hard to recommend. I don't really recommend building with this thing unless you've like completely maxed out your GPU budget and stuff like that. You've got a 4090 in your system or at least a 4080 Super. Then maybe you can, you know, splurge a little bit and buy a nice display for your mid tower fish tank case if you really want to. But at the end of the day, it makes for a pretty sick and interesting looking build, something that is super different from everything else out there. Maybe that's all that matters. But let me know what you guys think of this one down below because it is easily the most insane CPU cooler that I've seen. I think a lot of other companies out there are probably going to try and copy this.